A couple other instances that I find uh, interesting, I hope everybody that's listening to this will find interesting, is, is we had some pretty inclement weather at times in Vietnam. It was basically a rainforest, and we had severe fog, we had severe heavy, heavy rains, uh, gusty winds. We had a lot of conditions that really weren't good for flying. Uh, for example, uh, we had four or five instances where the visibility was zero, zero. That was generally early in the morning when it had been raining all night and the moisture was 100%. And uh, fog was so thick we could not see the taxi. And what they would have to do is they would put a, a guy with a high-intensity flashlight on the back of a Jeep and he would lead us out of the revetment onto the taxiway, and then he would lead us down the taxiway with his white light because we could not see markers on the parkway or we couldn't see the, the lights on the side of the taxiway. Steve, I want every light you can get poured onto that field. We're getting done right now. And he would lead us out to the uh, runway and then we would stop and we'd do our run-ups and check our engines and check everything, make sure it's all ready to go. And then he would lead us out onto the runway. And he would get us lined up, dead center, headed down the runway. And then he would get out of the way. And so when we released brakes, ran the engines up and released the brakes, we virtually could see 10 feet in front of us. We couldn't see the, the side markers. We couldn't see the white stripes down the middle. Uh, couldn't see any of the lights on the sides of the runway, but we would hold that heading, and our, of course our eyes were intently looking, trying to see something to make sure we didn't run over some landing lights or something, and uh, we would get that landing roll out of the way and raise the nose. As soon as the gear came up, uh, we, we knew we were safe, but before that point, all the way down the runway, the three or 4,000 feet that we rolled, we were just rolling blind and hoping that we were staying close enough to the center of the runway that we didn't run off of it. And so that was that was kind of scary. Uh, another instance, uh, and this happened in, in landing, was uh, they had some monsoon type rains. I mean, just heavy, heavy, heavy. And we had come back from a mission. It was a daytime mission again. And uh, we had lined up on final. And of course, the, the run, the tower was telling us that, you know, got about 100, 200 feet visibility, but the thunderstorm had just moved away. Uh, from the from the runway but there was a lot of water on the runway so we uh, we made a good landing smooth landing and i reached over to pull the propellers back to idle and then back into reverse when i did that the left engine did not reverse it just stayed in idle and because the runway was so wet we immediately turned sideways and i was looking at the runway out the side window and, of course, immediately I pushed the reversed throttle back into neutral, and we straightened out, but I had hard rudder and, and like I say, uh, some aileron and rudder used to get us back straight. But we w went down that runway probably 100 yards uh, sideways. If we'd hit a, a dry spot, the plane would have tumbled over, uh, or we could have just skidded off the runway into the, to the mud. But uh, thank goodness we, we kept it close enough onto the runway by the time we got it straightened back out. Uh, you know, we made a normal, no, normal stop and taxied off. But, but that could have turned out really, really bad if, uh, if we hadn't have been lucky. And like I said, I'd rather have luck than skill any time when I'm flying an airplane.